Welcome back. As states across the country continue to move towards legalizing marijuana, there is constant debate about the health effects. This morning, we are joined by respiratory care practitioner Rich Hinkliffe to talk about what causes more damage to the lungs, marijuana or cigarettes. So what does cause more damage to the lungs, Rich? Well, I think the first thing you have to do is I think you have to distinguish between uh, um, a young person's brain and an adult brain, for example, a teenage brain. When a teenager smokes marijuana, they're the brain is still growing. You know, those neurons are growing, those synapses are coming together, that gray matter is developing. And we now have these very advanced scans that can tell um, a teenager's brain when they're smoking marijuana, it affects that gray matter. And that gray matter is responsible for uh, cognitive thoughts, it's responsible for memory, uh, problem solving, that sort of thing. So all your teenagers out there, you know, please, please don't smoke marijuana or cigarettes, stay away from it. Um, as far as adults are concerned, the uh, American Medical, uh, Medical Association put out a great um, uh, report in 2012, very extensive. It was 20 years long in the making, 5,000 participants, and they found out some really interesting stuff. Um, first of all, um, marijuana joint has three times as much tar as a cigarette, and that tar goes down into your air sacs, and it acts as a barrier between what we call gas exchange, and that's when uh, the oxygen tries to get into your arteries, and so of course it affects your, your, your breathing. Another thing they found, surprisingly, is that um, smoking small amounts of marijuana actually increases your lung, uh, your total lung volume. Uh, it increases it by about 50 milliliters. The average person uh, has about four liters, 400 milliliters of lung volume. So it increases that by 50 liters. And we think that's because uh, when you smoke marijuana, I've never done this myself, I've seen it on TV, but uh, mm -hmm. they, <laughs> they do this, they go, they hold the breath like this. And you can imagine it's expanding the chest, it's, it's making those muscles really strong, and then they breathe out and let it out. And mm -hmm. so apparently that increases their lung volume uh, over time. Uh, another thing which I found very frustrating with a lot of the articles I read, you know, they talk about car the amount of carcinogens in marijuana, the amount of carcinogens in cigarettes, and every study I read was, was different. But what it came down to is something they all agreed upon was that cigarettes causes cancer, but we cannot find a link between marijuana and cancer, surprisingly. Yeah. You talked a lot about young people. What do adults tend to smoke most? Um, that's a great question. Another thing they found in this study is um, uh, the average marijuana smoker uh, over the course of one, one month only smokes two to three joints. That's it. Where cigarette smokers smoke between eight and ten cigarettes a day. So it's all about frequency, how much you smoke. And uh, the, the journal Thorax, a uh, very prestigious medical journal, um, have a few theories on that. Uh, first of all, they, they think that um, nicotine has what we call a half-life of, of two hours, is how long it sort of lasts in your body and you feel that euphoria. Whereas marijuana, uh, THC, the drug that gives you that same feeling, lasts for a day or several days. So with marijuana, you're not constantly thinking, oh, in two hours I need another fix, I need another fix, but with cigarettes you do. Um, Rich, we're all out of time, but thank well, you so much okay. for that wealth of information. Sure.